welcome back to The Monitor. As always, I'm Peter Rubin, senior editor at Wired. Let's get into it with a new album this week from Diplo's dancehall side project, Major Lazer. Apologies for the airsats patois, but the second album from Major Lazer, who is a fictional space age Jamaican commando with a arm mounted laser cannon. How great is that? Major Laser for the Universe is out this week. As always, this is an excuse for Diplo to bring together friends from kind of the indie rock world, friends from the dancehall reggae world. So on the dancehall side, you've got appearances from All Stars, Vibes Cartel, uh, War 21, Busy Sing Signal, just a ton of artists. And on the indie side, you've got members of Vampire Weekend, members of Dirty Projectors. Though my favorite track thus far is probably a song called John o Partial, which is where Diplo got an acapella of an old Johnny Osborne song called Mr. Marshall. Uh, he got it when he was visiting uh, Prince Jammy in Jamaica. No one had this acapella but Prince Jammy. And he takes it and he gave it to his buddy Flux Pavilion to kind of make a dubstep refix of it, which I know you're gonna hate me for saying I like a dubstep version of something, Something, but this is well in the tradition of doing jungle remixes of dancehall stuff, which has gone from the 90s all the way through today. So Major Laser Free the Universe, that is out this week. That is a nice little record. Uh, let's talk about comics. Okay, in comics, we've got a new ongoing from Marvel starting up this week, Nova. It's Nova number one. Now, Nova has been one of Marvel's cosmic superheroes, one of the outer space kind of sci-fi guys since the mid to late 60s. He's been kind of here and there. He's had a couple of uh, iterations of his own book. Now, it was teased in last year's uh, AVX, the Avengers vs. X-Men crossover series, that we were gonna get a new Nova. We saw him for like half a panel. Nova is finally here. He is actually the son of a previous Nova, though not a previous Nova that was known from Marvel canon. Uh, at any rate, it's kind of a small town kid who kind of takes on the mantle of, of his father's old superhero ways. Now what's nice about this is it's going to tie in with the Guardians of the Galaxy, which is Marvel's kind of galactic superhero team that is going to be the focus of 2014's uh, tentpole movie, written by Jeff Loeb, with really enjoyable art from Ed McGuinness. Really like this so far, looking forward to what they've got next. Nova number one out this week, let's talk about animated television. Okay, starting uh, this Friday on IFC, actually airing directly after Portlandia is a new animated show called Out There. Now, this is done by a guy named Ryan Quincy, who for years and years was an animator and a producer on South Park, so he's well-versed in uh, bringing kind of basic looking 2D animation into comedy, and he does that really well. Uh, this is the story of two teenagers, uh, high school guys, best friends, who are kind of losers on their quest to find love and acceptance and just win their way through the world. Uh, it really reminds me of kind of an animated version of Freaks and Geeks with a lot of the humor of home movies, which is a fantastic animated show uh, from the past decade. It does not, this does not have John Benjamin uh, in its voice cast, uh, which home movies did, but it does have a fantastic uh, supporting voice cast, Pamela Adlon, Linda Cardellini, Fred Armisen, John DiMaggio, really good voice actors. Uh, there's a lot of potential here. First three episodes are, are sly, slow, but funny. I've got uh, big expectations for this one. So that is out there. It starts Friday night after Portland idea on AFC, but that is it for this week on The Monitor. We'll be back next week with more pop culture freshness, but until then, inspirational catchphrase here.